there's a question I keep getting again and again. Uh, it comes up all the time in my comment sections and it comes up after live chats and, uh, and, and when it comes up I have to spend this uh, time typing this long response and trying to tell people the answer when I figure you know I could just do a video on it and hopefully that would be the end of it. Uh, so I'm going to do that tonight and the, the, the question is what is a firing pin block? Well, I'm going to show you what a firing pin block here. It's really a simple question, you know, but a lot of us, you know, know this and we forget that a lot of people don't know the things we know. So we have to share that information with people from time to time and not make them feel like, oh, that's a stupid question because it's not. I mean, I admit I didn't know what a firing pin block was 10 years ago. So uh, maybe there's people who don't know what it is now. Well, obviously they are because they keep asking me. Well, a firing pin block is pretty simple. It is usually, not always, this is not always the design, but it's usually something like a cylinder that runs uh, up and down along the channel that the striker goes in, the, the firing pin. That little cylinder that goes up and down through there is a solid cylinder most of the way, but at one point in it, there is a narrower spot in that cylinder. Well, that narrow spot rests below the channel for the firing pin most of the time, but when you pull the trigger, it raises it up and makes it to where the firing pin can go forward because it has that narrower space. Now, I chose this gun to show you because you can actually see it going up right there. If you look real close, when I pull this trigger, there you go. You see the firing pin block go up. That means the fat part's moving out of the way, the skinny part's coming into the channel and allowing the firing pin to travel through. It's pretty evident on this gun. I mean, you could not, hard, you could not have a better example. Pull the trigger, it goes back. Pull the trigger, the trigger goes back, the little cylinder goes up. Now, if that didn't happen, the fat part of the cylinder would still be in the way of the firing pin. It wouldn't be able to get by. That has to be moved up by the trigger so that the narrow part of that little cylinder is in the firing pin channel and allowing the firing pin to go through. It's really pretty simple and it's really pretty ingenious. And what that stops is it stops it from like uh, firing if you drop it and somehow the sear lets go, things like that. It's just a safety feature. So when people ask you uh, or tell you that a gun has a firing pin block, that's pretty much what it is. It's just a block that prevents the firing pin from moving forward unless the trigger is fully to the rear. So for those that asked, now you know.